Five reasons that will make Nelson Shamisa to win 2023 elections. And I'm going to give you right now. The first reason that will cause Nelson Chamisa to win 2023 elections is because in the new party, he has no challenger. And I'm going to explain why. Nelson Chamisa is no challenger like his predecessor, Morgan Changrai. When Morgan Changrai started MDC, there was the like of, likes of Gibson's Banda, the likes of Welshman Nube. But in this case, it's like what is happening uh, in EFF. EFF is Julius Malema. It's Julius Malema. The ideologies of EFF are much centered on one person. Look even at the likes of Vladimir Putin. Vladimir Putin, Russia is centered on one person. Even ZANPF. ZANPF was centered on the ideologies and the charisma of Robert Mugabe. So that's what I'm trying to say. So in an organization, there is need to have an outstanding person just like these other parties that I've mentioned to you. So that is the attributes that Nelson Chamisa holds. He has no challenger in the party. If you check the the, in, um, the rallies that was held by the other players that are inside the party, no one could able to galvanize such a big support that Nelson Chamisa had on Sunday. Number two reason. Nelson Chamisa is not going to fight tribal wars like what Morgan Changera had to face. That tribal wars are the reason why MDC defragmented from inside. Tribal wars and constitution. Right now, the CCC does not have the constitution of its own, which can then be pulled out and be manipulated in order to favor someone else who is in the party. There are no party structures. There is no Congress. There is no nothing like that, which means that Nelson Chamisa, he still has that power, you know, to do, uh, to deal with everything that is in the party from the top. The absence of the constitution, the absence of party structures that are coming from the Congress are to his advantage and that can enable him to amass power. And then when he gets into, into parliament or he, he gets into power, he is now then able to then form those structures that will, uh, make the Congress and the constitution of the party and a lot of things. So that is to his advantage. He's not going to fight all that because the time up to, to the 2023 election is very minimal. Voter apathy. Voter apathy is one of the things that when I engage with people here in South Africa or even in Zimbabwe, people will tell you that, Ash, we don't want need to vote. We don't need to vote. His stance on voter apathy is crucial because last time he managed to swing voter apathy to his advantage which made him to galvanize more than two million young people interested to vote that is the same stance that he has pulled to say we must register to vote people must be interested in voting that is what will give him more votes if he manages to swing voter apathy maybe by 20 20 30 percent that is going to be to his advantage especially young people especially people that are still in school that is to his advantage so that is another reason why nelson chamisa will win 2023 election he stands on voter apathy reason number four why nelson chamisa will win 2023 elections is because of ample time to prepare in 2018 he had pretty much four months to prepare if we can be fair to him because he only managed to start to do rallies uh in the middle of february that's when he started to do rallies at this point in time the litmus test is also there in the by-elections that the number of votes that is going to governize in the by-elections is going to be determining factor and they can be able to to deal with zek to deal with all these things that are coming up all the irregularities that are coming up he can deal with them now so it means that he has ample time to prepare ample time to prepare and that is going to give him much more time to uh, to get money to raise funding and everything that needs to to be in place for a party 
to go into rural areas and all the party structures to be well uh, oiled. Number five, the advent of technology. The advent of technology is making it very easier for Nelson Chamisa to get into rural areas, to convince the voters, to convince people. 2018, there was no TikTok. 2018, not everyone was on WhatsApp. 2018, not everyone was on social media. But in this time, you know that because of COVID-19 and everything, it made people to be so much connected. So it meant that they were now, they can now access information. Uh, before you know it, in the rural areas, you cannot lie to the people that are in the rural areas. The information is disseminated very, very much faster, more than you can even imagine. So that is another advantage for Nelson Chamisa. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Please tell me your comments about Nelson Chamisa after pulling up that rally in Harare.